Well, during Hispanic Heritage Month, we look at the money in our pockets to find the newest quarters featuring Jovita Idar, a Mexican-American woman who left her mark on history by striving to improve the lives of those around here. Here to tell us more about Jovita Idar is our favorite celebrity historian, Rafi Andonian. Rafi, thanks so much for being here with us today. Of course, for Hispanic Heritage Month. I Perfect love Perfect tie-in with the quarter in our pockets right now, honoring Hispanic heritage. And this is so cool. And for those that don't know, tell me a little bit more about who Jovita Idar was. Jovita Idar was a Mexican-American who advocated for Hispanic heritage. And she, the way she put it is she said, we want to learn about Washington and Lincoln, but also, not only Washington and Lincoln, but also, for example, Hidalgo and Juarez, yeah. and to want to retain the language of Cervantes, which is a reference to Don Quixote, the first novel ever written, and of course it was in Spanish centuries ago. So she wanted to keep that Mexican-American and the bilingual lineage. She was an educator, she was a suffragist, she was also a teacher. She was a, a she, journalist, she, too. She was a journalist, that's right, that's right. So she was someone that was advocating, and of course, now is featured on the U.S. quarter. Now that is pretty cool. I mean, why is she on the quarter now? Because there are a series of quarters that are being done by the U.S. Mint right now. It's a four-year program featuring five quarters a year, and each quarter features a different woman. So we have five of them here from 2023 with Jovita on there, the latest one. And so she's the ninth one on the whole series. This is the first time that circulating quarters have honored exclusively women. It's called the American Women Quarters Program and designed to bring attention to women's history. Now that is pretty cool and pretty amazing. Now you mentioned that there are five different quarters. What is the inscription on Hovita? On Hovita story? it tells her story. So first cool. of all, you have E Pluribus Onum, Quarter Dollar in the United States of America, which every quarter has. Then you have her name, Hovita Idar, which tells, identifies her. Then you have Mexican-American rights, which is what she, of course, fought for against what we call the Juan Crow laws. You know, there's Jim Crow for black Americans. Mm -hmm. Juan Crow laws is the stuff that was affecting and discriminating this, um, Hispanic Americans. So then you have the word teacher on there because she was an educator at some point. She was disappointed in the lack of resources in the Hispanic schools, so she quit went to the newspaper La Cronica, which was her father's newspaper. Wow. As a result, became a journalist. That's the other, that's the eighth inscription on there. <laughs> that's right. And as a journalist, she used the pseudonym Astrea, which is for the ancient Greek goddess of justice. That's what she would write under. And then from there, she went and opened another paper with her brother called Evolution. In Evolution, she would write about women's rights. So the 11th inscription is La Liga Feminil Mexicanista, which is the women's, uh, Mexican Women's Congress, which was a political organization that went with the Mexican Congress, the Mexican-American Congress, which was designed to help bring Hispanic rights. From there you have Nurse, which is another one of the inscriptions, because she went and helped uh, the wounded across the border during the Mexican Revolution that was taking place. And then you have La Cruz Blanca, which is the White Cross, which is the equivalent of the Red Cross, but the White Cross version awesome. helping them out. And then there's two more. There's 15 total inscriptions. Two more. One, and that's remaining is uh, El Progreso, which is a newspaper she went to during the Mexican Revolution after serving as a nurse, writing about the Mexican Revolution, supporting the Mexican Revolution cause, although that was shut down by the U.S. government because she was critical of Woodrow Wilson, the president, wow. sending U.S. soldiers to the border against the Mexican Revolution. And finally, the last inscription you find on there is El, uh, El Geraldo Cristiano, which is the Christian Herald, which is what she would write in later in her life through the church, supporting bilingual education, supporting a free kindergarten, and she would volunteer and would advertise to there as an interpreter between Spanish and English at hospitals. Oh my gosh. You can tell the whole story of that her right there. And you actually saw those words zoomed in just now when we played that video. That's right. Rafi, thank you so much for that's breaking right. that and remember, down. Remember, money us. is where nations honor their heroes. And I that's what that. it means to have her on the same platform as George Washington. That just gave me chills. And it really is the perfect way to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Rafi, thank you so much for being here with thank us you. today. And Feliz Mes, the Herencia Hispana, we're celebrating all month long. And if you're at home, you're watching, and you're interested in learning more about Rafi and all of the history that he goes across the country sharing right here in our community, you can head to lightocelebrityhistorian.com. You can also follow him on Instagram and on YouTube.